Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let us quickly see the solutions for the optical and wireless communication model question paper released by VTU. The very first question is explain with necessary diagram the different types of fiber structure. You can see here in the figure single mode step index fiber, multi mode step index fiber, and multi mode graded index fiber are the three different types. And also the related uh, dimensions are given, and also the explanation briefly I have added here. Please explain more about these three things and this is for six marks. You need to write the diagram. It will carry two to three marks and related explanation for all the three will carry three marks. I am not going to explain in detail. Please go through the explanation over here and uh, because of the time constraint, let us cover all the questions quickly. The problems which I have already shown in the previous video, please visit that to get to know how actually the problems in the question paper is going to be solved. What are the advantages, disadvantages and applications of optical fiber as compared to copper cable? So with respect to copper cable, copper cable they have asked. So whenever uh, you are going to write the advantages, disadvantages and applications, compared to copper cable, you are going to explain. Means all the things what you are going to project here are comparable to copper cable. So here are the advantages. I have given eight advantages. You can write five to six and disadvantages and applications also there. You can go through this and explain intermodal dispersion for multi-mode step index fiber. Intermodal dispersion is also called as modal dispersion. It will happen because of the propagation time delay in a multi-mode step index fiber. So this is the explanation for that. Here you can also write the effect of intermodal dispersion. What is going to happen when this dispersion happens in a multi-mode step index fiber? Like pulse broadening will happen, bandwidth will be reduced and we can't achieve the distance of uh, transmission. Then explain the three different mechanisms that causes absorption of optical energy in optical fiber communication. So there are three, three things here. Absorption is caused because of the atomic defects in the glass composition itself are extrinsic absorption by impurity atoms in the glass material, intrinsic absorption because of the basic constant atoms of the fiber material. So briefly explain these, it carries eight marks. And again, this is the problem which we have already discussed 2C and 3A in other video. And the next question is with a neat diagram, explain the working of edge emitting LED. Here clearly you need to uh, explain how it is going to emit uh, and why we are going to call it as edge emitting and this is the diagram clearly showing all the layers of the LED and also the radiation from a edge emitting LED is also shown and related working and also the features of this is given over here please go through this explain the operation of DFB and DBR laser DFB means distributed feedback laser and DBR is distributed Bragg reflector laser in this uh, solutions, I have added maximum uh, explanations over here itself in the slide. Please read those explanations. It will be helpful for writing the clear cut answers point wise. Write a short note on avalanche photodiode. Avalanche photodiode is a semiconductor based photo detector that converts light to electrical energy. So here is the uh, diagram related to that. You can see the avalanche region clearly you need to show where actually the towel and region will occur and the minimum field required for impact ionization need to be shown and uh, related explanation how actually it is going to work is given over here. With schematic representation and energy band diagram explain the working of pin diode, pin photodiode. So the pin photodiode structure and the energy band is like this. So you need to write first these two structures, these two diagrams and the working principle of the pin diode is asked. You need to write that and also explain the energy band diagram. It carries four four marks. Then this is the problem which uh, is covered in the previous video itself. Then question number five, explain the evolution of evolution of wireless network. 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G and also you can include 6G over here. In 1G it is only voice communication. There is no data or digital things. And we can say it is AMPS is one of the best example. And in 2G, GSM comes into existence and 3G, uh, UMTS and uh, data rates you can see, uh, see over here. You can include voice, audio, video, multimedia things and then 4G and then 5G. You need to explain all these with brief 
explanation. What are the different basic propagation mechanism used in wireless communication? Explain them briefly. So there are three main things here in uh, propagation. One is reflection and uh, diffraction will happen, diffraction and scattering. And you can see the related diagram is shown. You can write that related diagram, how actually the reflection will happen, the diffraction will happen and scattering of the signal will happen and the loss due to that. Define fading. Explain different types of fading in mobile radio channel. First, you need to say what is fading. Fading refers to the variation in signal strength due to changes in the transmission medium or path. And there are different types of fading actually, small scale, large scale, flat fading, uh, frequency selective fading. You can explain them briefly. Uh, here one marks carry for the definition itself and different types of fading carries another seven marks. Explain cell structure in case of wireless communication. Cell structure you need to explain first and then you need to write which are the different shapes and why it is not preferred and why only hexagon is preferred. If hexagon is the structure, it will cover the each and every corner area and there are some advantages when we are going with the hexagon structure other than uh, square shape as well as the circular shape which I have given over here as a briefly. You please elaborate these answers while writing in your exams. Explain frequency reuse in detail. Frequency reuse concept uh, is asked over here. It is a concept of reusing the same frequency in different cells, right? So for that, uh, we need to write the frequency reuse diagram here, means the set of cells over here and the adjacent cell can be used the same set of frequencies like that. You can see the numbering over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, and also the same numbering over here. But the same numbers 1 and 1 are not adjacent. Like this, you need to write the numbers and I can uh, explain how actually the frequency reuse and what is the advantage of that. This is the problem here on the uh, geographical service area to calculate the number of channels and the system capacity, which I have already explained in the previous video. What do you mean by multiple access? State the different types of multiple access schemes. There are three main multiple access schemes, TDMA, FDMA and CDMA. And these are the diagrams related to that. Uh, you can write the diagram if it is asked for more marks or you can write the theory explanation with these simple diagrams. So here the frequency are going to be differed in the same time. Means each and every subscriber will be given with the different frequency. And in the TDMA, the same frequency with different time slots is going to be allocated. And in CDMA, it is code division multiple access. Particular code encoding method will be used with the same frequency and in the same time. If it is asked for the more marks, you can also explain the forward and reverse channels how actually it will be with respect to these uh, mechanisms. Then here the same question asked in, uh, in detail for only for FDMA. So frequency division multiple access, how actually it is going to happen. So first write the concept of FDMA with a diagram like this. In Y axis it is frequency channels, different frequencies it means. And in uh, X axis it is time. Similarly, write the F FDMA uh, bandwidth structure, uh, different channels over here again, and basic structure of a FDMA system. And this is the guard band in the FDMA channels, how actually it will be the difference between the two channels. Then similar question like with respect to TDMA, discuss TDMA systems, mention some silent features of TDMA. So these kind of questions can be asked in the exam. So for TDMA, uh, FDMA and CDMA, you need to make a note like uh, three diagrams. One is the concept diagram and channels diagram and a frame diagram and then related explanation. That is uh, much required if they ask multiple access techniques. And then mention and explain the different components of a cellular PSTN network. Here is the diagram. Uh, they have asked with PSTN. So this is landline connected to PSTN network always. And then there is a mobile switching center, a MSC, and then base stations. And also there are subdivisions like uh, we call it as base station controller, BTS and uh, sometimes. So please go through this and also you need to explain what is the functionality of 
a mobile equipment here and the BTS are the base station or the BSC base station controller and mobile switching center and PST and here is the detailed explanation related to that you can go through this since it is asked for 10 marks you need to explain each and every concept clearly explain the operation of cellular communication system so the cellular communication happens in different steps like mobile unit initialization or registration will happen mobile originated calls uh, will be there or network originated calls and then call termination and a handoff procedure these are the different operations of a cellular communication system uh, you need to explain what act that in that process then explain gsm architecture in detail mention some silent features so in the gsm architecture again as we seen in the previous questions we will be having same components here but clearly you need to mention how actually they are going to be connected and which are all the new members you can see pstn it is also again connected to the landed line and we will be having a msc and vlr visitor location register and we will be having uh, hlr home location register eir auc authentication centers and towards the tower what we call are the uh, trans receiver systems that is bts and multiple bts connected to base station controller and then that will be connected to msc so the hierarchy is like mobile station above that we will be having bts above that we will be having base station controllers above that msc above that we will be having pstn and these networks right uh, vlr hlr and aus eir so this is how you need to explain the hierarchy and also the functionality of each and every things then discuss gsm signaling protocol in detail so here this is mobile station and the different things and this is bts and the components it is bsc and components here msc and components here what is the interface between these and how actually this uh, signaling process is going to happen in the gsm is the question this diagram and related explanation again you need to explain the functionality of msc bsc bts and ms only but you need to write with respect to the communication over here then define physical and logical channel explain the different channels used in gsm in uh, gsm there are different channels like uh, broadcast channel uh, common control channel dedicated control channel traffic channel uh, will be there so these are the different channels comes under logic channels and these are the directions how actually uh, they are going to useful and write the explanation related to this also define handoff and discuss different types of handoffs and offs in gsm handoff in the sense it is a change of signal or we can say signal strength is going to be uh, deferred when a, when a mobile station moving from one area to other area we can say or one cell boundary to other cell boundary so here different types of handoffs is going to happen in gsm intra cell inter cell and inter bsc come intra msc and inter msc handoff so these are the four different types of handoffs are going to happen in gsm explain gsm frame structure with knee diagram this is the frame structure of the D gsm uh, this question may be asked in the examination it is very very important and also uh, it is categorized as super frame super frame will be consisting of multi frame multi frame uh, will be having 26 frames again that single frame will be consisting of eight time slots and one time slot will be again consisting of 156 around 156 bits and each and every bit is uh, explained over here what actually it is then what are all the different what are the different services and the features offered by gsm telephone services uh, data services sms services are the services which gsm is going to provide in the cellular system uh, that uh, ask for eight marks so these are the answers for the model question paper questions here i have added some brief explanation please go through the book for complete understanding and you need to write in detail in examination since it is a theory subject to get complete marks you need to write your answers elaborately then only you will get the complete marks this is about uh, owc model question paper 1 solution thank you